I'd like to congratulate Bibi Netanyahu. It looks like that race has been won by him. It may be a little early, but I'm hearing he's won it and won it in good fashion. So uh, he's been a great ally and he's a friend. I'd like to congratulate him. That was a well thought out race, I can tell you. But it looks like uh, Bibi has won that race. Go ahead, Steve. Say it. So the fact that BB won, I think we'll see some pretty good action in terms of peace. Look, everyone said, and I never made it a promise, but everybody said you can't have peace in the Middle East with Israel and the Palestinians. I think we have a chance, and I think we have now a better chance with BB having won. Yes. The Mueller report's interesting. After $35 million, with 13 increased to 18 angry Democrats, people that truly hated Donald Trump, truly hated Trump, they found no collusion whatsoever with Russia. But I could have told you that, and so could most people, and so could have everybody that voted for me, which was a lot of people. So after wasting all of this money and all of this time, with people that were haters, people that worked on the Hillary Clinton Foundation, people that were absolutely haters of Trump, they found no collusion. What has been found during this period of time are the illegal acts of getting this whole phony investigation started. And hopefully, that's where people are going now. That's where people are going. And it's very interesting. It was an illegal investigation, Major. It was an illegal investigation. It was started illegally. Everything about it was crooked. Every single thing about it. There were dirty cops. These were bad people. You look at McCabe and Comey, and you look at Lisa and Peter Strzok. These were bad people. And this was a, an attempted coup. This was an attempted takedown of a president. And we beat them. We beat them. So the Mueller report, when they talk about obstruction, what, we fight back. And you know why we fight back? Because I knew how illegal this whole thing was. It was a scam. And what I'm most interested in, excuse me, what I'm most interested in is getting started. Hopefully the Attorney General, he mentioned it yesterday, he's doing a great job getting started on going back to the origins of exactly where this all started, because this was an illegal witch hunt, and everybody knew it, and they knew it too, and they got caught. And what they did was treason. What they did was terrible. What they did was against our Constitution and everything we stand for. So hopefully that will happen. There is a hunger for that to happen in this country like I have never seen before, including all of the millions of people that voted for me. What they did was disgraceful. There's never been anything like it in the history of our country. Thank you. No, there is no law. Uh, as you know, I got elected last time with the same issue. And while I'm under audit, I won't do it. If I'm not under audit, I would do it. I had no problem with it. But while I'm under audit, I would not give my taxes uh, there's no law whatsoever. Now, I will say this. Uh, I would love to give them, but I'm not going to do it while I'm under audit. It's very simple. Remember, I got elected last time, the same exact issue, with the same intensity, which wasn't very much, because frankly, the people don't care. What I have done is approximately a 104-page summary, and really in great detail, of assets and values, and what, nobody wants to go over that because it's so good. I built a great company, one of the best companies. I have some of the greatest assets in the world. I did a good job, and now, frankly, I don't care about them. I only care about the United States. But I have no obligation to do that while I'm under audit. And no lawyer would tell you to release your tax returns while you're under audit.